Hi, I'm Damon Smith, Extension Field Crops Pathologist for the University of Wisconsin, and today we're going to talk a little about alfalfa diseases and also alfalfa disease management. So the first and probably one of the most important diseases we see in the state of Wisconsin on alfalfa is Aphanomyces eutyches, uh, which causes Aphanomyces root rot. And this can be a major problem in the seedling stage, but it can also be a lingering problem uh, all through the uh, multiple growing years of alfalfa. Uh, it does cause poorly developing stands, uh, can cause necrotic roots, and uh, uh, basically uh, continues to feed on the root, compromising the root system. And so we, over time, we'll eventually see stands just declining in, in, a, in a sort of slow process. Established stands will oftentimes also have reduced biomass um, and uh, nitrogen fixing nodules won't be present on the root systems and you'll see an overall reduced vigor. We do have two races of Aphanomyces. Uh, there's the race one and also race two and uh, more recently we, we may have identified a third race although uh, at very low frequency in fields. Uh, race one is probably the race that occurs the most, followed by race two, and uh, there is a high level of um, uh, uh, genetic diversity among the isolates. Uh, each of our isolates has, uh, is a little different, um, in fact, when we isolate it. Uh, there is no quick and dirty method for identifying aphanomyces. Um, it can be oftentimes very difficult to uh, identify in the field. However, if you notice a stand that is declining, uh, we would encourage you to uh, send samples into a, a, a diagnostic lab at the University of Wisconsin. Our diagnostic lab can do uh, screening to uh, uh, confirm aphanomyces uh, root rot. Control is mainly focused on uh, utilizing resistant varieties, and so knowing uh, the race that you're dealing with will, can help you uh, choose that variety, and that's one of the th advantages to sending a sample into the diagnostic lab. We, we can help you determine that race. Here's the process that takes place uh, for a phantomyces screening in our um, uh, uh, in our diagnostic lab, we use a differential set of uh, varieties here, and you can see the different resistance and susceptible makeup uh, of the uh, various varieties used in the screening. And this screening allows us to not only identify whether uh, aphanomyces is present, but it can also uh, uh, tell us which race is present in that particular soil sample uh, so that we can make some tailored um, recommendations to you. We also do uh, uh, include a variety here with, that is susceptible to uh, 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 Phytophthora, which uh, can be a difficult disease to uh, differentiate from uh, Phanomyces, uh, so we can also uh, differentiate that there as well. Another disease on alfalfa would be uh, verticillium wilt. Uh, verticillium is caused by verticillium albo atrium on, uh, on uh, alfalfa. Uh, when you notice uh, this type of uh, yellow leaf tip and uh, a V-shaped pattern on the leaves there, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and inspect uh, the, the plants further, especially the root systems, and they will oftentimes have a dark discoloration on the root. Uh, again, in, in alfalfa, control for this disease is going to be uh, through variety uh, selection. One of the foliar diseases that we see on alfalfa is uh, spring black stem caused by Foma metacaginus, variety uh, metacaginus, and it uh, oftentimes will see symptoms appear uh, as spots on leaves and also on stems, uh, which you can see here. And if severe enough, we can oftentimes have defoliation of the plant, which of course reduces biomass of those plants. It is primarily a problem in cool and wet weather, hence the name spring black stem, because it's oftentimes favored in the uh, uh, spring, especially on the first and or second cuttings here in the state of Wisconsin. And control is often through uh, cultural practices such as uh, proper soil pH uh, and, ma and maintaining uh, good soil fertility and also a uh, timely harvest, uh, especially in a dairy system. Uh, so we don't want to be delaying cutting to uh, reduce the amount of defoliation that might occur from this particular disease. 
Another root disease which we see on alfalfa in the state is uh, actually a, a nematode uh, a problem uh, caused by uh, meloidogyne uh, nematodes. This is root not nematode on, uh, on alfalfa. You can see symptoms include galls and also stunting and control is going to be uh, by variety selection and also through uh, good, good rotations. Another uh, uh, vascular disease on uh, alfalfa would be fusarium wilt, which is caused by fusarium oxysperum. And you can see uh, uh, the damage internally here, but what you might notice first is basically the plants will appear uh, wilted and maybe bleached. And then when you cut into the roots of affected plants, you'll notice that the vascular system is going to be discolored. And so this is pretty diagnostic for uh, fusarium wilt on alfalfa. And this disease is favored by high temperatures, which is a bit different than some of the other uh, diseases of, of alfalfa. Uh, control here is going to be, uh, again, through variety selection. With that, if you have any questions uh, about what you've seen today or about other alfalfa diseases, you can feel free to contact me. My phone number and email are listed here. You can also check out our field crop pathology website, and the link's included there, or you can get in touch with your local extension agent.